Whenever you're combining like radicals, it's important to remember to always simplify what's inside the radicals first. We do this by prime factorization and then looking to see what will be able to be pulled out of the radicals. Let's try example one first and let's grab some scratch paper to work each piece out. First let's look at five root fifty x. It's fairly obvious that that could be simplified further. If we find the prime factors of fifty, we can divide by five and get ten, divide by two and get five, divide by five again and get one. So the prime factors of fifty are five to the second times two. So if we look at five root fifty x, it's obvious that we could pull a five out with a remainder of zero inside the radical. The x of course will stay in and so will the two. So we would have five times five root two x. Moving on to five root twenty seven. Twenty seven can be factored. If we divide twenty seven by three we get nine divide nine by three to get three and divide three by three to get one. So we can rewrite twenty-seven as three to the third. That means that we could pull one three out with a remainder of three to the first. Moving on to negative three root two x, if we look at this problem, two is already prime and x is to the first power. So we can't do anything to simplify root two x, so we'll just go ahead and rewrite it. Finally, we have negative two root one oh eight. 108 could obviously be factored further and so I'm going to divide it by two. 54 is also divisible by two and 27 is divisible by three which gives us nine which is divisible by three to get three and once again divide by three to get one. So my prime factors for 108 are two to the second times three to the third. When I factor that or simplify that radical, I get two times two times three root three. Now let's go ahead and look at this to determine what are going to be my like terms. This has a root two x and so does this term and this has a root three and so does this term. Multiplying the five to the five we get twenty five root two x and Multiplying negative two to two and three we get negative twelve. Root three. If we look at this one, we get fifteen root three. And if we look at this one, we get negative three root two x. Again, this and this are like terms 
and these two are also like terms. So let's go ahead and add them together to get 22 root 2x and 3 root 3. And that is my final simplification for example 1. In example 2, we have mostly, looks like all, s cubed roots. And so we'll grab some scratch paper for this one as well to find the prime factors of each number. Starting with the first term, we have 81. 81 can be prime factored to 3 times 27. Divide by 3 to get 9, divide by 3 to get 3, divide by 3 to get 1. So the prime factors of 81 are 3 to the 4th. That means that we can pull out a 3, and we could also pull out an x, and we'll have the cubed root of 3y left inside the radical. If we move on to 32, 32 can be prime factored to 16, divide by 2 and we get 8, divide by 2 and we get 4, divide by 2 and we get 2, divide by 2, we get 1. So the prime factors of 32 is the same as 2, to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So when I rewrite this, I'll have negative 3 times 2y cubed root of 2 squared x squared. Moving on to the next one, 24 is divisible by 2 to get 12, divide by 2 again to get 6, divide by 2 to get 3, divide by 3 to get 1. So 24 is equivalent to 2 to the third times 3. Rewriting this one we get plus 2 x to the third root 3y. Lastly, we have 500. 500 is divisible by 2 to get 250. Divisible by 2 again to get 125. Divisible by 5 to get 25. Divisible by 5 again to get 5. Divide by 5 again to get 1. So the prime factors are 2 to the second, 5 to the third. And we end up with 5 root 2 to the second and 5x because of, pardon me, 5y because of the y to the third x to the second. We now match up our radicals to find our like terms. We can now add these together to get 5x cubed root of 3y and negative 11y cubed root of 4x squared.